So if I'm playing somewhere and, you know, we're trying to jam out and just maybe have like a little groove going on, all right, I'm going to think of a couple things. I'm going to listen to what I'm hearing, right? This is kind of repetitive. Maybe it's four bars or eight bars or whatever. And once I find it, you know, all right, I know it's in F minor, right? So, all right, what am I going to do here? Am I going to just, you know, stay on F minor? Well, no, I'm going to pr progress with it. And in popular music, jazz, gospel, you want to look at the two, five, one progression. So that's your most basic thing. There's a lot of things you can do with something like this, but let's say now we have our one chord, right? It's the F minor, right? And I go to five, five, one. Five would be our C, right? So we took the C and made it dominant. We took out the three and we left the the five rather, and we uh, left the C there, the C out, and I would just have the tritone, the basic scale of bones of the chord, right? And I would play this on my left hand, so I'm playing the E flat G, A flat C, right here, and I will go. With that progression, I could add something else to it. So now, two, five, one, right? And what can I do for two? Of course, the same thing, a dominant chord, but I can play the tritone for, for the two, which would be, so, right? So we have our F minor. Listen to it, right? We have that in our left hand. Now, here the, here's where the chordals work, right? The chordals are basically, again, with your number system. We have F, G, A, B flat. That's F to B flat would be a, a fourth. All right, so you're going up, I made a perfect fourth. B flat to E flat is another fourth, okay? So we have this in our right hand. We can start here. If we started from C, it would be C, F, and then B flat. If we started from D, it would be D, G, and C. Because everything is, is a fourth, so it's a chordal, all right? Or fourth. I'm, I'm guessing that's where they get the four, got the four from. And chordal, quartal, Q U A R T A L or E L, I'm not sure. All right, so, right, we have this, two, and we did our tritone, right? Right. But where did they go? The first thing I'm going to look at is how to build a quartal, right? So, if I'm going to do the tritone for G, I'm looking at B, and I'm going to go up a fourth from B, right? One, two, three, four. A fourth from E. One, two, three, four. I'm thinking in major key. So, major key of B, major key of E, and moving up a fourth. So, I would have this. Uh, e, A, and D. And it's a very spacious sound because there's no key center, so you can kind of play it almost anywhere. All right, so we can have this. Do the F minor again. And so the five chord, what do we do with that? So now our five chord is C, right? B flat is up here, E on B flat is our tritone. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We have our chordal here, and then one, two, three, four. All right, so now we have. See how that works? All right. Now we can add to that. Say now we want it to go to the G. All right, we have our G and our C and our F. All right. We can figure out what the tritone is for D. That would be the F sharp C. All right. Then all dominant. All right. So we have C here, C, F, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? We can do that as well, right? So this is the basic structure of what you can actually come up with. Remember, your chordals are going to be built off of the top note of the tritone. So your tritone is F sharp C, you're going to be building off of the C going up and forth, and so on as far as you want to go. It doesn't matter what the tritone is, but that gives you like an immediate, you know that you have a dominant chord, you know that it's going somewhere like I spoke about in the last video. So that gives you something to build on. That suspension is not tied to any key. It's just a sound that needs to be resolved. But then we kind of know where it's going because of the tritone, but then we're not really sure. So it gives us some very interesting color. I hope that's helped you. And if it has, go check out gospelprogressionsuniversity.com and check out my free guide. It's called What Do Pro Musicians Know That You Don't? God bless you. I will see you in the next video.